Hi there, my name is Colin Gray and I just want to give you a tour of my plugin Combat Cart Loss. Uh, this has been designed by myself and my company Well Trails Media to help you to make sure you're not missing out on customers uh, who experience some kind of trouble or question during the checkout process. The whole aim of the plugin is to capture the details of anyone who's looking to check out uh, as soon as possible, as early as possible, so that if they stop checking out, if they don't actually complete their purchase, then you can get in touch with them, you can send them an email and you can follow it up and hopefully try and close that sale. So let me just show you what the plugin is about and what you can find here. So uh, on the first page, unconfirmed orders, this is the meat of the plugin. This is where you find out who has recently tried to uh, buy something but hasn't actually confirmed their order. So there are a few things you can do here. You can maintain the list, so you can select them, you can delete ones if you want to get rid of them. Uh, you can also select them if there's more than one here. You could select a few and you could click the send mass message and that lets you send an email to a whole bunch of people all at once. Moving across, you get a few details. You can see how much they're looking to spend. You can see when they were added. You can also see if you've already sent an email to this person. So it allows you to uh, really easily manage the list and see what you've dealt with already. If you want to look at the details of this order, all you do is go to the end, click details, and this shows you what it is they were looking to order. So on the right here, it shows you that in their car they had an iPhone. So that shows you the product model and it shows you the quantity plus the cost. So you can see exactly what it was that was in their shopping cart when they checked out. And you can also see their contact details. So you've got uh, the name, the email and their telephone number as well as the cost um, including all taxes and all that there. Here you also can see uh, whether you've sent an email or not. So this means you haven't sent an email already. If I then send the person an email it will show what we've sent them. So I can really quickly write a personal message, just say something like, Hi there, I wondered what had happened with your order. You know, you could type in whatever you want and then follow up, talk to them for a while and try and close that sale. If I then click send message, that email summary pops up over here. So you can see uh, that you've contacted that person, when you did it and what you sent them. So it lets you keep track of exactly what you've done. There's also a message template here. So you can actually create templates to make this sort of thing a lot easier and quicker. So I've already created a template. All I do is go into my drop down. This is the one template that I've, I've created. I'll click that and it'll show me this template. And within that template you can create variables as well. So you can use variables to really easily and quickly do emails just to follow up with these people. So once I've clicked that, all I do is pop down send message and it'll show you that there and this shows you what that email looked like. So it's putting in his name, hi Joe, it's putting in a little table that shows what he was looking to order uh, so that really easily shows you what has happened uh, when you sent that email. Let's go back out though. We've also got in here, just to help you manage things, we've got a confirmed orders. This was asked for by a few of our customers because they thought they'd quite like to look really easily and quickly in this plugin at the stuff that had happened uh, in the past in their shop, particularly not so much the complete ones, but particularly ones that are pending, processing, all that type of stuff. They can really easily look at orders based on their status, make sure there's nothing still pending or uh, expired, that type of stuff. So you can use that if you like. You can send mass messages to people in here too. So that was another feature that's requested. So even if there are complete orders, if you want to then send out messages to people in here based on your templates or similar, you can actually just use this plugin as a contact module uh, to keep in touch with your previous customers, send out mailings to them, uh, or use the templates for that to keep it easy. So talking about that, let's look at the templates. In here, you can create an email template or you can edit current ones. So I can go ahead and edit this one that I created in the past. These are the uh, the variables that you can use. We've got customer name, so that's the full name. We've got customer first name and last name. So you can use first name on its own or say Mr. Last name. You've got cost, so that's the amount of money that was going to be spent. That's the amount of money that was in the shopping cart at the time. Address, products, order and store. So if you're using multiple stores, you can also refer to the shop that they were in. And they all support stuff like class and style attributes, so you can style them uh, using HTML if you so choose. You can create a full HTML newsletter in here, full HTML template, 
that will let you send beautiful emails out to try and persuade people to complete their purchases. So if I go back to create a new template, it's really easily, really easy. Just go into new template, create the subject, and then you can put in I customer name, and then just put whatever you want. Um, following that, you can put a few different variables in. You know, you can see exactly what you want to. Uh, type in proper text, so yeah, and then save template. And then that template will now be available if I go to him and I click, in fact, I'll show you the send mass message one. If I tick him, send mass message, and then it shows you message template in here too. That's the one I just created. And if I, if obviously there was more than one person in this list, this is a new store I've just set up to do this video, but if there were more people, uh, who had done confirmed orders, if I ticked them all it would send this message to everyone in that uh, ticked list. So I'll just close that. Last thing, quick tour of the settings. Now one thing that was asked for by previous customers were, was a notification every time an unconfirmed order comes in. So every time somebody doesn't confirm an order, every time somebody abandons a cart, you can set this, set this to yes and it will send you an email uh, telling you that that's happened. So you can keep right up to date, you can catch people straight away as soon as they abandon their cart. And in here you can use template variables too, so you can send an email to yourself that shows the cost, uh, what they were ordering, what their name was, all that type of stuff, so you can check whether it's worth your while following up straight away. So if it's a huge sale, it's a huge shopping cart, 500, 1000 pounds, you can follow that up straight away. You can create that template. Okay, so that's a good tour of the plugin there. Uh, plenty of features, plenty of stuff to let you um, not lose any sales in future. Uh, but if you have any other questions, please do just drop me a comment on the plugin page. And uh, I look forward to chatting to you there, or I look forward to seeing you uh, on the sales list. It'd be great if you could buy the plugin. Okay, thanks very much.